Okay, so what I am doing is setting this up to reconnect and I'm looking to have about six inches would be the ideal. I'm gonna have those fibers like an open hand, finger spread, and that is gonna run right across my finger, right like that. And the fibers are nice and open. I'm gonna take my nettle and I'm being ambitious. I've got a fair amount here. You can use more than this. And I'm laying it across that. And what I wanna do is set this up so it's on my finger nice and firmly. And I'm gonna be pinching right there. And I'm gonna be pinching right there. And now when I come up to spin, I'm gonna get lots of twist going. And you can park so that you can be drafting by pinching. I think I've got this too thin. We might end up with a break. Let me see. No, nope, there we go. We're okay. So I'm pinching and I'm pulling away. Pinching and pulling away. Pinching and pulling away. And so I'm, my right hand is coming in and grabbing the fibers and really kind of pulling them out of the fiber source in my left hand. If you can see that there. And as my hand gets too long, what I want to see is as I put this together, see how it's automatically plying back on itself? So that tells me I've got a nice amount of twist in there mm. for plying. And I'm going to just pull that up. And if you want to, this would be now would be where I'd have some water. I could be dipping this hand, not the fiber holding hand in water and running that wet finger up and down there. I don't think I've got much spit today, but a little bit of saliva and then roll it on the spindle in the same direction that my spindle was turning. And I'm going to bring it back up and I like to come behind the hook. Mm -hmm. And then under the hook, I find it is less inclined to bounce off. And so again, you can be practicing now rolling it on your leg, uh, either on the outside or on the inside, just whatever's going to be the direction that you're turning. And then I'm pulling both the fiber uh, away from my fiber source hand on the right. And then the left hand is also pulling it away from the drop spindle. So the two hands are kind of, there's a, quite a bit of pressure there because those are long, strong fibers. And the key is that I don't want any twist leaping into my fiber source until such time as I've got it the thickness I want. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. That's kind of manky. It's always the film to demonstrations that go manky. <laughs> Okay, but I also, I think of this, it's like I'm taking little bites. So I'm drafting in like little inch increments of just pull up, let the twist come up, let the twist travel up. But I'm not letting this hand go until this is the thickness I want for twist to enter. So this hand that's pinching, my spindle hand comes up and is pinching and is acting like a dam that is stopping this energy that's being built up from the drop spindle turning. It isn't allowing that energy to leap into what's coming off of the fiber source until I'm ready for that energy to enter here. If I've got too much fiber in this area, I need to keep that pinched while this hand drafts further away. Okay, now the longer your fiber is, the difference in where your hands are holding because it's harder to draft something that is a long fiber than it is a short fiber uh, or it's just different but you're going to find that there is a different point as you move through your graded fibers that some fibers are going to be uh, requiring your hands to be a little closer and some fibers are going to require your hands to be a little further apart. And so that's gonna be a part of what you're experimenting with. And here we go. So you can just see there's like this V of fibers coming off of the tip of my index finger. Whoops, that was too thin there. And that that is where the twist is coming in as the fibers are being drafted and fed down from there. Okay, 